I got a question on one of my videos asking if it was possible to pull tabs from a Rocksmith song. I said I wasn't sure because I had never tried. But then I started thinking of how beneficial that would be for editing, for learning, for glory. I wanted to know if it was possible. I needed to know. I dedicated my life for a few hours anyway to finding that answer. After seven or eight beer, I had my answer. This is my story. I had no clue where to start. I thought it would be something as simple as extracting the file and hoping the tabs were hidden in a file somewhere. No such luck. I was searching through some of the options in Editor on Fire, and I came across something that said Rocksmith to tab. Well, this was my big break I was looking for. Someone already figured out how to do this. Now I just have to figure out how they did it. So I went to SourceForge and downloaded the program and installed it. I started playing around with the settings and hit create tabs button and wow, they created tabs. But to my horror, there was only 72 tabs for seemingly random songs. I must have done something wrong. I clearly wanted to create tabs for all of the songs in my Rocksmith folder and I have over 1700. I had to dig into this a little bit deeper. After a few smokes and a few beer, I found the problem, or at least one problem. I had created custom guitar inlays. This program scans those files, throws an error, and then exits. I knew what I had to do. I moved all those files out of the folder temporarily and ran the program again. I had some success. It created more tabs. But my triumph was short-lived when it threw another error. But I wasn't about to give up on my dream. My dream of the day. I was going to make this happen. I traced the error to one specific song. I deleted that song file and tried again, never losing hope. Again, it threw another error. I found the file and tried again, and again, and again, until finally I had the ultimate guitar tab library. If I only wanted to create tabs for one or two songs, the easiest way would be to remove all the songs out of that folder and run the program and then move them all back in. But now I have all the tabs, most of which I will never use, but nonetheless, I have them. And now you can too. Thanks for watching guys. I barely have any voice nowadays, so it's a lot harder for me to make these videos. I'll keep posting them when I can. I have a few more videos in the works right now. And when I get a proper voice and can narrate them properly, they will be going up on this channel right away. So until next time guys, beers are on me.